Okay, hello friends, welcome back to getting yourself organized with org mode. Today is Tuesday, that means snippet 2 of episode 4. And today we look at the function of timers. We have two things that we want to have a look at. It's one is a countdown timer, like if I want to do a brainstorming. And the other one is a relative timer if I want to take notes that are that need some timestamps. So let's start just easily with a brainstorming timer. I have the task that says next brainstorming and now I want to start a timer that runs for let's do it just 20 seconds at the moment because we don't have to waste your time. So what you do if you start a countdown timer it's control C, control X and semicolon. That means control C, X, semicolon and then he asks you how much time should be left. So we do 0, 20, 20 seconds. Now here you see your current value of your countdown. We are at 14 seconds now. That means you can lay back, do your quick brainstorming in this case. Usually I do a 5 minute brainstorming. But now you see we are running out of time. 3, 2, 1, 0. And here you get a message box that says brainstorming timed out and your timer value is gone. There is no noise, uh, no sound. It's just that message box that says okay it's timed out. So you have to keep your screen in your eyes and, and have a look at it from time to time. But it's very helpful if you say I just want to spend 5 minutes or 10 minutes on a small brainstorming and then I want to do something else. So that's the countdown timer. Of course you can uh, control the timer with start, stop and so on. So if you, let's do another one with 20 seconds, control CX semicolon uh, 0, 020, it's going down. And if I say control CX comma, you see the timer is pausing now at 15. If I do control C, X, comma again, the timer starts over, continues and it's running again. And if I do control U, C, X, comma, the timer is stopped, then it's, it's gone. Okay, this was countdown, but we can also count up, just imagine. We open a new file now for, for the fun of it. Uh, a file that we call notes org and now you imagine notes of the football game at the moment there is football championship in Europe and there is a game <coughs> and it starts now and we want to take notes so you can start a relative timer that says you press control CX0 and the timer started with the value 0 and it's now here at 5 and so on. So you can write a note like this is a note, note and the timer is at control CX dot 20 seconds when I type this. Or you can even have a description line like this one that you say okay uh, let's put control C X minus then you have the timestamp here you can write something down this uh, team A scored a goal 1 0 so now the game is going on if something happens you don't have to press uh, control C X uh, minus again you can also press Alt, return, and you have the next timestamp. You see, we are at 1 minute 1. And, well, let's do it like that. Uh, team B scored a goal. Uh, now it's 1 to 1, and so on. And now foul, red card, whatever. So you see, if you watch something, a video or whatever, and you need to take notes with a timestamp, this is the perfect method. 
You can also pause this timer, it's the same like before, Control C, X, comma, timer is paused, and Control C, X, comma, timer runs again. You see down here, it's going on, and if I press Control U, C, X, comma, timer stopped. So now your timer is gone, and you say, oh damn, I was at two minutes, now I should go on with my writing, uh, but what can I do? If in that case, you start it with an offset, that means you press Ctrl U, CX0, and it asks you, okay, with uh, what offset do you want, and you say I want two minutes offset, then you see the timer starts now with two minutes offset, I can go here, Alt, uh, return again, and I am at two minutes five. I restarted the, the two minutes, five seconds were going, so you see I can go on with my notes and say thank you for this and that's it for today. So this was quite a fast episode. Let's save my notes and let's stop the timer. Control C X comma now that's just pausing it. Control U C X comma it's stopping. You should have a look uh, at your uh, org menu inside dates and scheduling what the real key codes are because I had to look at the PDF document from uh, the website and that had other uh, key uh, configs for stopping the timer and pausing it but uh, those ones that are, that are the ones that are really working and one last thing this what, what we did here is really just for doing a transcription of uh, something that is happening it's not, this, this relative timer is not uh, supposed to be a stopwatch. So don't think this is a stopwatch if you want to clock your work, how much time you spend on a task. You will see it in the next snippet. It's the topic of the next snippet. So that's all folks. Thanks again for watching, for all the comments and all the suggestions, what we can do better, or what topics we could discuss here. See you next time. I'll be back as usual. And now let me upload this to YouTube. Thanks.